Hi, I'm here with Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft. Thank you, Satya, for joining me to announce our partnership. I have long been convinced that massive improvements are within reach in the healthcare space. 2020 demonstrated how technology can deliver this much needed progress. Our ambition, together with Satya, is to help offer simpler and first class healthcare for every patient as well as for health professionals. This is why I'm excited that we bring together our expertise and our energy to create an all-in-one solution, the digital healthcare platform. It will allow patients to access a wide offer of health-related services from one single place. This new platform will rely on both Microsoft's outstanding services and on access global knowledge of healthcare. Thanks so much, Thomas. Glad to be here and congrats to you and the team on the launch. Uh, excited about the partnership and how it'll benefit both healthcare professionals as well as patients by moving from their fragmented patient journey to a much more client-centric approach. So Satya, it's clear that the world has undergone massive change during what has been a very crazy year. We all saw the critical role that tech played in these uncertain times. In what ways has the world digital transformation accelerated and what does it mean for healthcare? No, you're absolutely right. This has been an unprecedented year. Uh, in the very early phase, uh, it was sort of our job to be digital first responders to the world's first responders, in particular in healthcare. Uh, in some sense, Thomas, I shudder to even think what the world uh, would have looked like, but for the digital technology and the resilience and the productivity uh, it has been able to give us all across all industries. In fact, we are witnessing perhaps one of the biggest structural shifts brought about by digital technology in retail, whether it's contactless shopping or curbside pickup, in manufacturing, if it's digital twins, these industries are going to be changed forever. Of course, healthcare, uh, when you think about outpatient visits, right, AI triage leading to telehealth, then outpatient visits, that's going to be a structural change. Overall, we need to build, I would say, digital capacity to provide care, anticipate and respond to the healthcare issues, uh, really defrag, I mean, the fragmentation that exists today sometimes in healthcare, how do you bring a cross-industry, uh, cross-sectoral approach even so that the innovation uh, is for patients and families, reduce the burden on the frontline health workers, better tools for the physicians so that their burden uh, comes down and they spend more time with the patients. Uh, as I said, really being able to have even the science and our pharma companies being able to use clinical data to even accelerate things like personalized medicine. Uh, so these are all the things that I think are going to be structural changes that are going to make healthcare even more uh, you know, I would say uh, better in terms of its outcome and even reduce costs uh, effectively. So maybe, uh, Thomas, along those lines, as you look at the challenges you're seeing today in healthcare, how can technology play a role? Well, Satya, digitalization has already started to considerably improve the healthcare system in many ways. I'll give you just one example that we know very well at AXA. Telemedicine usage boomed during the COVID-19 crisis, because patients need simpler and faster access to healthcare. Tech will indeed help us address the four main challenges of healthcare. Firstly, healthcare is increasingly costly. Over the past five years, medical inflation has outpaced GDP growth by 4%. As a consequence, people are often forced to renounce or to delay the care they need, especially under privileged social groups. Secondly, healthcare is fragmented. Systems are complex and rigid with multiple stakeholders too often unable to communicate or align. Thirdly, access to quality care is not available for everybody in all geographies. Fourthly, healthcare suffers from a huge lack of efficiency. Paper-based and manual processes along the patient journeys result in a massive administrative overhead. This leads to delayed reimbursement procedures, cost and complexity for customers, doctors, hospitals, and so on. 
thanks to technology, we can fully redefine the customer experience by providing fast, affordable and seamless coordination of care. Technology will not replace the essential role of human in healthcare, but it will improve efficiency and enhance everybody's experience of healthcare. No, that's great, Thomas. We're excited about our partnership to focus on the new digital healthcare platform to create these better tools for healthcare professionals and ultimately better experience for patients. What do you see as the biggest benefits to your customers? Well, Satya, to summarize, I would say there are four advantages for our users. First, it will be centralized. All relevant healthcare services will be integrated in this unique platform. Our long-term ambition is to offer an integral healthcare journey from doctors to hospitals to pharmacies and so on. Second, it will be seamless. It will be empowering patients by providing a single entry point to address all of their healthcare problems and concerns. Third, it will be personalized. Building on the patient's health data, we will be able to guide them faster to the relevant services tailored to their specific needs. Fourth, it will be affordable. We are talking about better guidance, better and efficient triage, less intermediation in the healthcare journey, and so on. It will contribute to significantly reduce the burden of the healthcare cost. Thank you so much for the partnership, Thomas. We appreciate all the work your team is doing to set a standard, bringing all players involved in the patient journey together on the promise of easier, more affordable, first-class access to healthcare. Well, thanks to you, Satya, and to the entire Microsoft team. I am really thrilled about our joint partnership and about the value it will unlock for patients, professionals, and society at large.